connected. Channel I, I switched. Was, uh, I, I'm old because I'm, I'm 41, but... <laughs> <laughs> 41. In this group, you're the young buckaroo. <laughs> yeah, that was 30 years ago for me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hi, Tim. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hi, Tim. Uh, hi, Tim. Good morning. So you're, um, Frank is your age, I think, kind of, Isaac Hill. Say sorry, sorry, Bruce. Server's up. I think Say Frank is your age. Oscar yeah. Nine. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. I'm waiting Sorry. for a, a package here, so hopefully it doesn't knock my door when I fly, but uh, I don't know. Timing's everything. Yeah. So you guys, are your election results in? Isaac Keller, the election results in? Yeah, but I, I don't know how, what to say, because it's really sad that this, this, uh, uh, this country have a toxic relationship like Venezuela with the same guy that put us in 50% of the country is poor. And, uh, and the guys win again. It's amazing. I don't know how they made it, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, anyway. Yeah, anyway, was a really close, uh, you know, result. And we have to vote again. Here we call the ballotage. So we have to vote again between these two candidates for president. But uh, it's amazing. This this country has nothing more to offer for me and for my family. It's, it's the truth. I really give the opportunity for too many years thinking that some other guy can change the things, but not, but not the people still. Uh, the people still, uh, uh, how to say, the people still are, are guessing that these guys that put on in, in, in so poor conditions for living uh, are the answer. And they are not. Obviously, they are not. We have um, so poor education quality. The buildings in the public schools are broken and, you know, they are destroying all this, this country. Uh, Argentina in as uh, too much years ago was a really user joined your channel. Uh, how to say a really potent country, you know, powerful country, and you know it was, was the world war, the second world war. The people of Europe comes to Argentina, even my uh, grandfather and the grandfather or, or my wife are from Italy, and you know, and my grandfathers are from Spain. And, you know, now we have this situation. It's, I don't know, it's awful. I don't know how to get out of here, but it's going to be immediately because we have nothing more to do here. Yeah, sorry. User joined your channel. Uh, it's okay. I'm sorry too. Good evening all. Yeah, hi guys, hi too. Good day. Hi. Hi, John. Hi, Gav. Hello, everyone. Hi. Sorry, but it's sad news, but it's the truth. I, you asked me and I have to say the truth. Well, I'm interested and I care. And Yeah, uh, thank I... you. Thank you, my friend. The truth is subjective, but <clears throat> anyhow, if a, no, the, a, a the guy, no. guy with the cloned dogs and who's telepathic is going to win, there's no more hope. Yeah. I don't think that, yeah, the truth is relative, but when you have a government that put uh, the half of the country and in the po poverty situation, it's not more relative, it's the truth. Yeah. 
And if the Czech government is it's uh, it's always in the power for almost 70 percent of the time and almost for 40 years, I think it's not working anymore. Something is broken there. Sorry, guys. I just no one. <laughs> it's okay. okay. You're with friends, dude. Yeah, it's your situation. That's bad. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, I have the opportunity I, to move. Yeah, I mean, I'm not exactly perfect. I'm not the the, the example of a, a regular Argentinian because you know I have internet. I can fly in Condor. I have good food. Uh, I, I live in a good place. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm not exactly, but the, the thing uh, that my situation is not in the country. I can be selfish. I can't be selfish and said, oh, okay, I'm good. So the rest of the people fuck off, you know, it's just I don't care. No, I'm not like that. I really want that this country go on. And it's amazing how the poor people start to vote against these guys that put it in that situation. It's, it's amazing. Like, I can't understand that. It, it's, it's off. It's the Marketing. same thing. It's the same thing that put, that happened in Venezuela, Cuba, Iran, and all that kind of country. It is, it's like that. Just like that. The the horrible people and, uh, get control of the news stations. That's kind of what happens. Yeah. They control Argentina. the media. Argentinian has a lot of hate inside. The guys that working yesterday was. Uh, was singing, uh, the people that don't jump is English. The people that don't jump is English. Like the the Falklands shit, when 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 was the war, was still a lot of time ago. And I don't know, I know that most people of the UK saw interviews that they don't want that war. But Argentina is, Argentina people is it's really with the illness of hate in her hearts. I think uh, uh, with the hate, hate in her heart, that is the problem with Argentinian people. But then they are, uh, you know, oh, we are champions of the world. Yeah, yeah, we are champions of the world. And then we have nothing to eat. So, <laughs> yeah, yes, <laughs> yes, I don't know. I mean, guys, my situation is good. I am not in that situation. I repeat again, I'm good. I live good. I have a good life. I have my wife. I have my home. I don't pay rent anymore. Uh, I, I have my home now, but uh, I don't know. It's, it, it's, it's not only depends for me. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. A country, we, our country, we are all, all the people, not only me or my situation, my particular economical situation. I mean, and that's really hurts because I want the people get educator, educa with education. I want that, the, that the, all the kids have good meat, good education, good clothes, good home. I think that's really good for, you know, for, you know, for a decent living, I mean, but it's okay. The people still voting this guy, so okay. I think I have nothing here I, I, I vote anymore. for Ezekiel as president. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that, User entered your channel. that personality, but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> But you wish everybody a good life. That's very nice. Yeah, yeah, I do. It's really sad when you see so many uh, thieves on the streets and so many kids with they have nothing to eat. I mean, how can it be that possible? We have a country that we have all. We have good landscapes. We have we are producing food for all the world and lots it, of and resources. Have, yeah, and so a lot of resources. Yeah, a lot of resources. You know, we are producing food for all the world, and we have we have people here that doesn't want, doesn't have eat, uh, food for eat. It's amazing. But okay, I'm gonna fly. Ah. <laughs> so, sorry, guys. It's just uh, and then in, in English I can't express too good, but I I sorry guys, I do my best. <laughs> Hopefully you. Can you understand I understand all, all yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi, Chris. Hello. Hi, Chris. Hello. Hi, Chris. Hello. Hi, Chris. Hey. 
Is, is that a phenomenon only in La Capital, or only in Buenos Aires, or do you see poverty everywhere in Argentina? No, no, it's almost in all Argentina. I yeah, mean, 50, I mean, 50 percent of the of the people we are under, how to say, and under line of poverty. You know, they're poor. They're poor. It's yeah, amazing. It's amazing. And ten percent, ten percent of the kids are under the line. Uh, they have nothing to eat. So, I'm not exaggeration. It's it's the truth. Mm. I, I believe it absolutely. Yeah. It's, okay. it's it's very sad. I mean, I'm um, <clears throat> I just uh, I just met a new girl, or you know, I have a friend who's Venezuelan, and she she tells me the same thing. It's just yeah, that Venezuela right, is an so, extremely so. rich com country, and um, there's all this poverty there as well, and people are fleeing the country. Yeah, it's the same thing. Exactly the same thing. Mm. Gonna choose the J three fifteen guys. Gonna think it's a good choice today. Seems like most I think people, yes. I think the crowd yes. is dying. Well, as a, a lot of people are flying J S three fifteen. Yeah, okay. yeah, mostly. Anyway, we have to vote again. Again, we have we have a balotage, so it's twenty percent of the votes have some, um, how to say, it was an, another candidate for president. So it's supposed that if they votes go to the the other candidate for president, maybe we have mm -hmm. a chance to win. But let's see. Good luck. Oh, thank you. I'm going to be in loading in the screen for a minute. That cloud is no good, Denny? I haven't got to it yet. Oh, well, still trying to get here. Uh, it's funny, I only see you and LCR. LCR and I are circling. LCR is over in another cloud. Mine's dying. Yeah, yours is, yours is gone. That's why I left it. That's still one five, but yeah. How's that one? Uh, two seven, two six. Also back towards the start. Yep, I can see everybody in the airport now. Yeah, it's going up. It's about three now. Three point one. Plane brought, it, brought us way out in the boonies. At least there's a lot of clouds within distance to get to. Yeah. Well, I didn't see. Okay, so we it was planned that out today or not? It was allowed. Yeah, you can fly in clouds. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Are you from Ukraine? Yeah. Oh, what I say. Yeah, I do. I'm flying my Canadian one that I made up myself. Oh, well, that's cool. Okay, I'm going to modify it a little bit and want to get it to my liking. I'll post it. 
Yeah, very nice. Did it just Photoshop? Yes. Okay. So then is your Canadian? Do we get that much? Yes, I live in Sarnia, Ontario. 60 miles north of each one. Mm -hmm. so, okay. so. I, um, many years ago, I had a girlfriend from Kitchener. Oh, yeah. That's only a couple hours away. She was quite outspoken. <laughs> Very can Canadian. Very Canadian. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah. We, we are Canadian here. Okay. It was all out in the boat. Huh? Chris, uh, ¿Te, ¿Te acordás algo de español, Chris, o ya no? Yo, no, 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 no. Ah, muy ah. poquito. <risa> no, es, es que um, actualmente me encuentro con una venezolana y uh, tal vez um, desarrollamos una, una, una relación. Uh, y ah. uh, es interesante actualmente, ya, ya practico mucho. ¿no? Ah, but you, you speak very well Spanish. Wow, wow. Thank you. I noticed this year at my high school that I work at, we, we have an awful lot of Spanish immigrants coming in. <laughs> we have a lot of Spanish-speaking kids that we have to, you know, we're doing the best we can with them. So. It's a world language, you better learn it. <laughs> yeah, I know. They, they say there's a very difficult uh, language to study comparing to English, for example, but I don't know, I see another uh, languages are really difficult. For example, I see when, when Tim talk on when he writes, I want to learn Danish, oh, that's going to be really, really difficult. Yeah, for Danish learn. is really difficult. <laughs> yeah, Danish, yeah. What do you think, Tim? Yeah, it's hard to say because I'm, <laughs> I'm grown up with the Danish, yeah. So for me, it's easy, but I've heard it. It's a, a very difficult uh, language to learn. Yeah, yeah. You have some words are uh, similar with the German language. Or? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, uh, and also with the English. Yeah, it's like a mix, I think. From the German perspective. Um, Danish is a northern, North Germanic language. German is a West Germanic language. So they're both obviously related, same language family. And uh, given that, I find it amazingly difficult to understand Danish. It's probably difficult for those Germans who live um, at the border. But for yeah, me, it's yeah. really hard. Huh? I have a much better understanding of Dutch, for example, than Danish. Oh. Yeah, I think uh, Vik is uh, able to understand some Danish. Mm -hmm. And I'm able to understand some Dutch, but only because I know German and English, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, Ezekiel, um, um, yep. coming yeah. back to Spanish. Um, well, I had Latin in school and I learned French in school and with that background, Spanish really was not that difficult. Um, the grammar is pretty similar to German. Uh, in, uh, in some ways it's less complex. Um, the, vocabulary, the vocabulary is, yeah, that's something you need to learn. But I think, to me, Spanish is relatively easy to understand because it doesn't have that many different sounds. So Portuguese, for example, is, is way more difficult to understand than Spanish. Huh? Oh, wow. Uh, you were in, um, in Rosario a few years ago, right, Chris? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's cool. I mean, yeah, the Argentinian accent, that's a different story. That is different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's another, another spot. Yeah, it does have its differences. Huh? Yeah. For example, in the normal Spanish, they say when you 
want to say you here the, um, boss in a nor normal Spanish they say tú but here we say boss <laughs> it's, yeah. yes which I find interesting because it's uh, it's similar in uh, Portuguese with in Brazilian Portuguese with the yep, yep. Yeah. And also, I, yeah. I don't know the story, but I assume it's probably from the same origin. And I know it's a particularity about the the Argentinian. And you you wouldn't say you would also not use the second person singular, right? Instead of tu tienes, you would say yeah, yeah. Tienes, no, yeah. And do you do this consistently all the time? Uh, yeah, I think most of the time. <laughs> Interesting. I think Spanish is considered one of the le least difficult languages for kids in uh, school in the US. Other school? They told me another story that like some people uh, was really hard to understand Spanish, but I think uh, in in US in US uh, Bruce uh, teach Spanish on school on okay, or or not in all school. Well, they have they teach language you know in school. I mean, we're not really great with language, but a lot of uh -huh. a lot of a lot of people are required to take it. I took some French. You know, I can't do any can't really do it, but uh. um, yeah, yeah. I, I took I took some French when when I had uh, gone, when I was in the high school, but it was a private school and not the public school. Public, public education here sadly is really, really, really bad. Yeah, a lot of subtleties in language. I remember I was working with a Haitian guy who was reading a French book one day at lunch. I grabbed it and I went, blah, 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 and I handed it back to him and smiled. And he looked at me and said, Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, I don't you guys, do you guys know the Chinese for little horse? <laughs> tiny oh, Chinese, po, Chinese. tiny pony. Chinese is a tough one because there's oh, intonation yeah. stuff going on. It totally changes the meaning. It's really, really tough. And Very, very different from We'd be setting up a production line, or I'd be helping, consulting on it in China, and I'd go out there in the morning to the, the little gals on the line and go, meow, and they, they'd giggle, and they'd go, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> they got all these little kids, you know, just think they can't be of age, you know. Kind of sad thing. That's a mysterious country to me, still. Yeah. I never liked being in mainland China. Hong Kong, for some reason, I felt okay. I was back oh, in probably, 2010. Probably yeah, probably not anymore. Not anymore, uh-uh. That's when my life's highlights were in Hong Kong. I'll tell you, it's just amazing. I did a lot of... Had a little free time, was able to get around a little bit. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Out to the islands and fishing villages. And took my camera and shoot all day. Nice. User yeah. joined your channel. He's back. Hello, Zuko. Hello, Zuko. Dude, we're missing you. Yeah, I just came home, <laughs> literally. Dobry wieczór. Dobry wieczór. We're 36 in here, dude. You better get in. I mean, I mean. Oh. As usual, last on go. Nah, that's always me. Hello, Chris. I haven't heard you in a long, long time. Oh yeah, same here. Yeah. Well, you know, summer season is over, so it's back to Condor. Condor season is open. Condor season is just starting for you. Huh? <laughs> and Condor 3 is on its way? Yeah, I yeah. Heard, I heard about that, man. This week? 
um, divulging any secrets? No. Nope. Or has he divulged any secrets? No. Nope. Uh, we didn't offer a high enough bribe to do so. Yeah. Gerd saw a test server running. He couldn't actually see him flying, but he could tell there was a server running. Yeah, it's a weekend on Sunday too. Mm -hmm. On Sunday there's two guys, on Saturday one guy, that's in Oxo alone. Testing multiplayer. I'm not, so sure. I'm not so sure about it. I'll probably have to shape up my, you know, uh, let's say replace my hardware to run uh, uh, a more demanding version of it. So I'm, I'm not so sure if I'm happy about the new release because for sure everybody else will, will just grab it right away. You know? Wait oh, and yeah, see. Wait and see, Chris before you are spending your money yeah exactly because uh, i think the philosophy of conda is that it shouldn't be so demanding okay you should give us a better version to test it <laughs> yeah probably well i mean at least um, you know looking looking at the requirements that's helpful already and then try it out, and if it works, it's fine. Otherwise, I would probably invest into some new hardware because that's it would be worth it would be worth to me doing that. What do you have now for hardware? Well, I'm running it off a little laptop. Okay. Um, what is it? An Intel. Four i5, 2.5 gigahertz, an NVIDIA um, an X150 with two gigs of RAM, and um, eight GB of memory, and it works decently well. I sometimes do have um, what you call this, you know, frozen a uh, frozen screen for like two, one or two seconds, which really doesn't bother me anymore. What is bothersome is that the, the loading times, you know, the time it takes until um, be between the time between the briefing and until I get into the game, that can be minutes at times. Yeah? But that's it. Well, uh, uh, a hardware a hardware upgrade uh, won't solve uh, the freezing between uh, loading the tiles. Okay. Yeah, I, I still get a lot of jumping and jiggering, and, I'm, and I've got a, you know, a, a Ryzen 5800X3D and a 3080 video card, and I'm still having issues with Condor. Okay, that's a good, that's that's a good background. It's, so I mean, it's you know, it's definitely something to do with the software itself. Okay. We all, you know, a lot of us get lockups. You know, got decent hardware oh thanks for telling me because I always thought I'm the only one no it's not you. Like, it's... a third of my screen will go totally black and everything will freeze okay you can hear the sound I'm just wondering what's happening but you just don't move mm -hmm. yes exactly So does anyone check the uh, onlinecontest.org site? I was looking at it this morning and someone posted a photo, Matisse I think, his uh, true airspeed was 259 kph and his ground speed was 404 kph. Oh, is that Matthias? Schunk? Uh, say again? Could that be Matthias Schunk? S-C-H-U-N-K? I do remember his last or... name had an S. Yeah. Well, he's, um, actually he's from the, he's from the same airfield where I fly. 
um, one of the very well-known German um, Alpine pilots. They did wave flying, um, when was that, on Friday? And he flew a distance of 1,200 kilometers. And yeah. They, and allegedly they had, um, at times they had more than 150 kilometers of wind speed, kilometers per hour of wind speed. And um, taken, taken in consideration that he was flying at an altitude of up to 6,000 meters, which is like uh, more than 18, maybe 18 to 20,000 feet. Um, that speed is quite possible. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's crazy. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. Starting out here. 18. 18. Exception rather than a norm. Over three and a half, almost four. Do you think it's craziness go to the side to start and go to this to the side of the mountain? Hmm. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that is the view. And I was tumbling in flaps three. I forgot the flaps all together. <laughs> Oops. Oops. And I was wondering why I'm flying so fast. Oh god. I think Dito's losing water. Oh, no. Sorry, Chris. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah. Well. Interesting. <laughs> ah! There was no recovery, was it? No, there was no recovery. Well... Is Club flying alone? Yep. Yep. Yes. 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 Both servers do start at the same or well, maybe they're both active already. Okay. Uh, maybe three. Server three. I don't see a server three. 
No, they're both active. I think I'll fly it offline, just for the fun of it. had flutter too. Oh no, really? He fluttered and he had disconnected like immediately. Like Oops. Thank you, good. Good luck. So I think. Only the mountains left to right. Left. I mean, some good lift, Ridge. Got that bit of Ridge.
We need a lot, a lot. Tango Zulu circling up ahead. Cloud, cloud looks like it's more on the ridge. This is on the ridge, okay. Those guys, that, some of the guys followed the peak, the ridge, uh, more to the right, and I think they did better. They were kind of doing more of the lower shelf stuff. Yeah, F1's on that ridge. This one's really narrow, Rich. It is. Very good. No, I think it's getting weaker. Well, it's between, it's just not, the average on it sucks. I just know what's coming. Very near, not, not, maybe I'm averaging not very well. Anyway. 
I think I'm going to move on. I probably hate myself. Not fancy. I did that last yesterday, and I really did it. Wow. He went right into the lead. That's, that's an interesting move. I wanted to get a bit of height off that cloud. Much better cloud here. Much. I don't know why F1 left it. He's going over. He's going over the ridge. Yeah, he stopped there for about four, three, four turns. Yeah. Twenty-three, twenty-three, fifty. We've got a long way to go to go to go up. Way too low, man.
got a three out here. Anyway. Yep. Wow. Nice. Well done, John. TZ's got the right idea, man. Well, he was high, so he could catch that one cloud. No, don't go to the cloud. There's a cliff. Just so, PTV. So would you recommend to be high entering the mountains? Oh yeah. Thank you. Definitely. Because wind is blowing up the angle. It's not falling right on the ridge until you hit the corner. Okay, thanks. Yeah, but it's really kind of shallow over here. Don't go there, but you're on the wrong ridge. It's steep one behind you. Already passed that one. Well, this is it, Rich. Make or break. Yeah, I'm just watching F1. He's low. I think he's hoping to catch one of his clouds. I thought there'd be some some cloud along the ridge this whole stretch. And the ridge lined up better. I thought we'd be doing so much better than this. Probably gonna work. I have no idea. I'm just trying it. It's getting fuzzy looking. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, Tango Zoo. Well for choice. Tango Zulu and John look pretty good.
F1's going to quit, I bet. I think so. He, he turned back to the bridge where you were. Yeah, unless he's going back for a restart, but it's pretty far. He's behind you. And we made it over? I don't think so yet. He might be able to, I can't quite tell. No. Oh, that was just... <laughs> oh, sorry, that's it. <laughs> Now it is, yeah. This is the time I'm saying, yeah. over there Bruce oh yeah I'm doing okay Took a different ridge than you did. I'm still on plan. I did. How is it going? The Tango Zulu sure looks happy up there, doesn't he, Rich? He does. You can see the smile from here.
<laughs> so silent here. <laughs> Concentrating. Yeah. This is off plan, Rich. I was going to be taking that valley to the north. Oh, I saw head in that way. Yeah, I, I don't know. Kind of a change of plan, although the end of this ridge is really messy. I think the other way was maybe better, but. Hi, Jeff. Messy? I think I got the altitude. I know the other valley's 27. Pass. This one's going to be more. really stupid to get a parking ticket here. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this makes, this is a mistake. Well, this is roughly the way I plan to go. Yeah, but we got all this, we're going way up and we don't need to. We got this high ground to get over. The other valley would, you know, a little bit of north to suffer through, but after that, we would have had it made. I don't know. User joined your channel. Oh no, they're knocking my door. Bruce looks like you're doing pretty good against those guys that are high. Yeah, I'm up at 2790. Kind of off my track, but I think it's going to work out. I'm right parallel to my track. I was planning on. Bruce, can you see Rich? No. I see Rich's all the time. I might take behind Bruce. Okay. Hello there, no so info. I just followed you. You can see for the event. Okay, hey, Dita. Come on, Bob. Yeah, that's a lot of water here at the moment. Yeah, it's a storm. So it's like you do a lot of the water. So it's a lot of water. Yeah, I've got it. Ich hab, ich hab dir ja gesagt, ich bin links, ich weiß gar nicht, warum du da ins Lee geflogen warst, wo ich an dir links vorbeikam. Hast du nicht gelesen? Da schwebst du, ich bin links und da bin ich auch sofort abgebogen. Und hinter dir ja, her. Aber, ja, aber ich bin doch nicht ja. abgebogen. Du warst dann weg. Ah oh, ja. Nicht schlimm. Ich bleib am Ball, was? Irgendwann klappert man. Auf jeden Fall. Ah, I'm back. That was fast. Hi, Tim. <laughs> Hello, Dieter. 
Hallo Tim. Wie geht's dir? Ja, mir geht's gut. Wie geht's dir? Oh, there's F1. Ich erzähle dir, ich wollte den Urlaub EW29 fliegen, weil das wurde nichts. Ich habe ganz, ganz schweren Unfall gebaut auf der Autobahn unterwegs. Ja, habe ich gehört. Hast gehört, noch. Aber alles gut wieder. Okay. So. Man muss ja eigentlich Teile Tisch hier von den Frequenzen. Kunthelle Engels. Ich habe 26 Nahts. Ja, das ist spiked. Ich habe Lift. I was in a cloud. I looked at my altitude and altimeter and it just wasn't winding up. The thing that bothers me about this ridge is that lead, that ridge we got across it toward the end. With the wind blowing from the way, I don't know if I'm going to have enough help to, to take the blue line or not. I'm not sure how that bit ridge is. Yeah, I didn't measure it, dang it. It looks pretty high up there. Oh, uh, no, that's the... Oh. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. I don't know how to plan for that. We're, we're, not, we're going more to where it's sloping way down over there. No, that was my plan, was to take the northern end of it. Right. But just how far we're going to be pushed to the north. Be nice if it wasn't enough. If I could, if I knew ahead of time, I could maybe plan for it. Oh, hi Stefan. Yeah, it's going okay. I was pretty high, but run into a lot of sink. There are a lot of waves on this task, but they are invisible. Oh, there's F1. Really? Yeah, Damn you're right. Oh, How do you do that? He was not doing that good. <laughs> He's doing a lot better now. He's good. 
Dang. He started way after us, I think. He's he's got a good time. And I wish I knew what that ridge was. Yeah, I will. Thanks, Stefan. Good luck to all from uh, Stefan. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Stefan. Thanks, Stefan. Hi, Danny. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, fantastic. And then comes away, you see me? Yep, I see you up there. Amos uh, 2 in your color. And all the best from uh, Conrad. Hi Conrad, thank Great you. Hi Conrad. Mm -hmm. Hi, thank you.
Oh, this flutter time here. <laughs> yeah, watch out. I can carry on with the beeping, but I don't want the fluttering. <laughs> Wow, Rich. What a move. F1 it likes it. Damn. I thought you were nuts. I'm gonna be okay. I mean, I've got, got uh, DNA the whole way anyway. I'm making it over. GLD has an 18 meter in front of us, Tony. Yeah, 18 meter, yeah. Well, we know F1's going to smoke us. He started after us by a lot. No, that was a good jump, Danny. Yep. Passes 18 here in a minute, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I was a little bit afraid. So. Oh, it's a rich. Might have to go around this ridge though. Yeah. That's okay.
Looks like NOI got ahead of us, Rich. Yeah, not to worry, we haven't done too bad. Yeah, well, he definitely got us. F1 got us. DGT up there. Have you seen his speed? No, is it crazy as usual? 214. Yeah, well. <laughs> it's going to be in your face F1 day. The DGT. Hey, for club pilots, ain't done too bad. Your route, did you go round that last bit, Bruce? Not much. I mean, I pretty much went over the highest part. Yeah, so your route was a bit quicker than the way I went. I just stayed on the blue line, kind of. Yeah. It looked good when I set off towards it, and as I got closer, I was sort of thinking, I think I've made a mistake. I was thinking it looked pretty good when you were doing it, but it took you a little bit offline, quite a bit, actually. Yeah. And I had to slow down to get over as well. Uh, yeah, it looked good, but not, not so, so brilliant. It's worth a try. I don't know when I'm watching rings. I have plenty of altitude. It doesn't need to do that. <laughs> That's Bruce. Well, what? Yeah. What? What? That's it. What? You Thank guys here? You. you guys finished? Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Well done, Josh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, Josh. Dude. Very nice, Josh. Very, Very nice. nice. Thank you. Uh, Myers, whatever. You're still podium, dude. I was enjoying way too much our coming in thousand meters. <laughs> I have a nice <laughs> There's a lot of fast people coming in, I think. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at Reed. Huh. But it was still good fun. Yeah. And I got to fly with my buddy again. Yeah. Well, that one's down to third. I think hey, we're just good guys. Single. I think we're just good guys, Bruce, letting the others win so they don't feel bad. Yeah, Thanks. there you go.
for Tango Zulu, didn't end up, you know, he was always so high, we thought he was doing good, but he wasn't that fast. No. Doesn't look like there's any hangers to park for the night. Some really nice flying today there, Josh. Thanks, Bruce. That was fun, that was fast. Yeah. I'd like to see a little more balance between the clouds and the ridge mm -hmm. in these places. Congrats, John. I got here. Congrats, John. Congrats. 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 That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Airport not have a windsock. I'm looking for a windsock. Uh, so sort of coming over the lake. The wind's coming. The wind's coming from your uh, from the right wing. If if you're going over the lake onto the runway. Oh, I found it. Gary just went by it. Yep. Oh, Landed by this uh, airliner. Nice, Isaac Al. Thank you. Nicely done. Very nice. Correct. Thank you. Congrats. Congrats. Can I ask what your speeds are? Well, the winner is 217. TG. Josh, TG. Josh 195, Isaac Al 193. Oh my god, it's okay. What's the deal? 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 Ist das da oben der Denker See oder was? Ja. Ja. Danke dir. War gut. Danke dir. Ja, gerne. Gerne. Ich denke, ich habe Position zu sein. Denkst du? Ja, ich habe die Flying Times, die Flying Times, die noch fliegen. Ja, ich werde nicht mehr überraschen. Ich habe viel B&E am Ende, ich dachte. Yeah, our flight time was 57 minutes, and just about everybody else is into the one hour already. Oh. 
No. Do you think we're going to race today, also? Content y'all have a good evening. See you next time. See you, see you John. John. Yeah. John. See you, John. Yeah, bye, John. See you. Yeah, so bye, you. See you. Ja, die bei John, der gerade Tschüss gesagt hat, der ist auch schon für Maxi. Wow. Wann war der? Ja, John Mitte. Ich wollte eingeholt. Ich krieg da nicht mehr hin. <lacht> da oben so dicht unter mir durchflog, ne? Über dem Wasser. Das war ja. Ja? Mhm. Das war, ich habe öfters Flatter gehabt hier, die Vögel haben öfters gewackelt. Ich musste also schon immer mal ja. zu die Nase hochnehmen. Ja, es war an der Grenze alles noch. 315 Blau war das. Ja, das ist wirklich an der Grenze, mehr geht auch nicht. Ja, ja. Naja, das, das höre ich natürlich nicht, das Flatter ne? Doch ein Flattern, dann hörst du. Oh ja, ich bin. Ich bin. Ja, ja, das hörst du. Also, wenn es so tück, 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 tück macht, heißt es, es tück nach vorne. Das riecht natürlich. Ja, wir wussten alle, was du meinst. <lacht> So, ich geh schon mal raus. Ich Hi, Gil. Hi, Ezekiel. Jo, wieder. Ja. Alles klar. Super. Thank you, sir. I still have 93 kilometers to go. I don't know. I don't. It's gonna take what? It's gonna take Tim what? Another minute, minute and a half to get home. I think. I don't know if he's got enough to beat to get too high. Yeah, I, it all depends on the handicapping. And then it'll change on the club. They need to run. Congratulations everyone, good luck Tim and Kilko. I'll see you all next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks Joss, same to you. Yes. Our approach to that first pass which really did us. I mean we just we didn't get the altitude as quick as a lot of the people there. They went closer to the ridge. We went more out in the valley. First. Yeah, but look where F1 was when we went through that pass. It was well down. And he had to back the back. That's true. You know, I left him way right back there. I, I crossed over and was gone, and there he is, you know. Comes up behind us. Yeah, and then we ran across to that last valley, and there he is. Yeah. Same height, probably faster. And yeah, I don't know, it'd be interesting to see what. He obviously got into that valley a lot earlier than we did. Yeah, people really climbed down the valley ridge further, you know, up more high on the ridge. And we took the upwind little ridge. They went right to the top. So it looks like Zelko made it. Yeah. Hey, what? I, 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 I have to watch my DVH. <laughs> I can't. 
plenty high and probably 1,500 meter higher than I should be. <laughs> yeah, I should push 200 meters from 300 to 500 if that's possible. Thank you. Jump up as much as I thought you would, Tim. No. But while you're definitely nervous. Well, certainly the fastest LS4 on this task. So it looks like the LS4 and a one hour task, but it buys less than seven minutes. Know, advantage mm -hmm. handicap. Wow, yes. <laughs> nice show. <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning of the task, I can separate from team. It was amazing. He was doing really well with the LS4. Yeah, I, I couldn't get rid of him either. <laughs> I tried the best. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a fairly long final flight, and I think that's where yeah. the other squad loses out. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think if, if, the, what, if the final glide wasn't too long, maybe yeah, just for kick over, but... Yeah. I had a real long final glide. <laughs> yeah. I got high in the waves, but then I hit tremendous uh, sink, of course. <laughs> And I couldn't find my way out of it. It happens to me a lot. When, when I climb high like that, then I hit the sink like crazy. And I just, yeah. I, I've gotten to think I'm better off staying low and taking the ridges. Yeah. I get burned so often doing that. Trust this glider more. Well, my friends, I had a lot of fun again, and I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care now. See you, Bruce. See you, Bruce. Yeah. See you, Bruce. Have, Have a good, good day, mate. Take care. Yeah. Bye, all. And see you. Yeah. I go to disconnected from go your yeah. I'm going to be in here to today. Yep. Yeah. See you, Tim. Yeah. See you, Tim. And good final time, Chris. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm still 69 kilometers out with an average speed of 140 right now. So I'm very, very slow relative to yourselves. Disconnected.